Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Well, we're getting down to the final days of me and my Christmassy crafts, and so this one is how to make a last-minute, really cute, um, really inexpensive stocking. And this is for Bella, and the reason I'm doing the dogs, their Christmas stockings is because then when I put toys in I can just shove the toys in and then pull them out then put it away for the next year it just makes it so much easier than wrapping anything and I mean they're dogs they don't they don't care if it's wrapped so I'll just show you there it is from a different angle I'll show you how we do it and um, one of the things that I use well I tried to go as inexpensively as I could and so I bought this at the Dollar Tree. It's called Diamond Wrap. It comes in all different colors. And I bought my stockings from a Kmart store that was going out of business, but you can get them at the Dollar Tree or pretty much anywhere. And I used a bunch of different, we'll call them embellishments, that I got from the from Michaels. I used um, the silver and the gold and the red and I think that was it but um, primarily I want to use the white and the silver I want to kind of make it match I ran this band of that one is a ribbon that I just had and I ran that with hot glue first and then I ran a layer of red and then I ran the white so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take this white that I used from before and here's my it's uh, it was a dollar ninety nine and I'm sure I bought it on sale or at a garage sale I'm sure I didn't pay the dollar ninety nine for it but um, at a dollar ninety nine that's not really a bad price I'm going to take all of my um, hangers off and I, the other thing I wanted to tell you is if you're making your stockings and like let's say in this case my Bella stocking the front of it hangs with the tag to the right then that means you're going to want this one so that the tag wherever the tag is is to the right as well that's really crucial because you're going to when you hang them on your um, hooks or whatever you use to hang them with if you don't hang them with these in the same on the same right or left then you're not going to end up having your your um, stockings hang to, like all lined up one will face one way one will face the other and you're not going to go for that angle I'm pretty sure so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, I don't know what we call that it's some kind of cord and I'm going to run a fine strip of glue along the top edge now lay that in it try not to burn yourself if you can avoid it you know it's my dream in life to do any project where I don't burn myself but um, I always uh, even with those little finger guards you know I'm sure you've seen me use those where I use it on the wrong finger so um, you know the glue is just not my friend a hot glue anyway and uh, if you didn't hear my story about this glue gun I like the way this glue gun works. My friend Carol Held told me to get it, but I think hers was a different model. I think hers is a different model <clears throat> because mine it was top heavy. You see the keys I glued in there? My MacGyver moment. Um, because mine was tipping forward all the time and so once I put the keys in at least it didn't tip over and then um, I didn't have the problems I had at the beginning. So that's in case you have that happen, that's my recommendation. Find some old keys and and just attach them in there. I'm going to use gold as my next layer and then we'll go with uh, the red. I wanted to be a little bit different on each one. And when I bought these, I got them they were $1.50 and they're called trim and I got those at Michaels if I didn't say that already. I really like how decorative these are and I'm going to use this it's kind of a fuzzier look to it 
and I'm going to flip it back over because remember this has to be on the right side because it is on the right side of the first one I made and I want to make sure that they both are on the right side. Now this does have sticky stuff on it but I don't trust the sticky stuff that comes on these because I just don't think that it really holds and I will probably wad these up in put them in a, into a storage bag and use them again next year so because of the way I store things as I said wad it up stick it in a bag um, I want to make sure that I don't end up having um, um, a problem with it coming off so we're just going to make sure that this stays the way it does like that and then I'm going to use on this one I'm still going to have, I really wanted to have those loops, but I don't know. I have this really fun fuzzy stuff. I might use it instead because I really like it. Let's go with that instead. And then I can just glue my, I'm still going to glue balls to it like I did the first one. I'm basically going to recreate my first design, but I wanted to have I have this piece that was cut in half. I tried to make I I struggled with the Bella that I the B the it didn't want to play with me, and so when I put it together, I to be the first time I had to cut it off and then I cut it again and then I cut it again and and then I just kept adding more and more of these little pieces of um, embellishment. I'm going to pull that one off and move it over a little bit. So I just kept adding more and more pieces of embellishment to get it to look decent and it just didn't work. So I just pulled them all off and I'm starting again. Then I had these little balls that I bought. They were Basically, they are garland. I cut all of the strings that attach the garland off, and then all I'm going to do is run a little dollop of glue in my red, and I'm putting them in the same color order as I did on my first wreath. Alright, so then that is the top part. Then all we're going to do now is the bottom section. And I forgot to measure this. This is so much easier than uh, making honey for the other dog. And honey is a lot easier, trust me, than Bella was. Bella was really difficult. So we're going to put one of, let's see, up there. Hopefully. And then I will. So that is my H for the honey and the B for the Bella. I think they look pretty cute and that's all we need to do on them to really make them look so that they were um, different than just your average one with puffy paint on it. It's simple, it's fast, it's inexpensive. So I hope you enjoyed this, that you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.